Rodgers again here on second and ten. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Rodgers now after the sack. He'll lead the pack up on third and long. Here's Rodgers. Throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Rodgers to throw for it on four. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Packers. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. It went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. They'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. If we had a dollar for every time we heard a team talk about explosive plays and how valuable they are, we probably wouldn't have to work very much. And we just saw a big one there. And then they tried to go explosive again, going for two. Yeah, is that a little too risky, you think? Just kick the extra point? And you know, I, I'm all about getting points. And if I feel good about my kicker, I go ahead and do that. But with that ball at the two-yard line, going for two, I think it's awfully tempting for teams nowadays. From the ten. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and ten, just shy of the 30. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet from the 35 back to work on second and four. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he's got some space here. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Field now. Here's Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get up here for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. On third down, Jackson. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. James Prochet, 42 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Well, he scrambled outside of the pocket and wondered what was going to happen there. He fired a dart. That's what happened. He certainly did. Scrambled left, looked left, and then left it in the receiver's hands with some dispatch in the receiver's hands, in the end zone for the score. This is caught, was he in? Yes, two points. And the formula there on the two point try to go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off, they got it. They tried to create space and there isn't a whole lot of it there for the defense. What you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're gonna catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Nixon now for his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. 
And as the offense begins another drive here, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. And you're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, and that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Side in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time they were up to the challenge. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Rogers on third down. Rush coming and he's taken down. Tyus Bowser, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. 8-6 the score after one. Now is Mason Crosby, who's hit from as far as 58 in his career. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And they'll remain down by two. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a card for the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage and also keep the defense from anticipating what's up next. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. The 20. And all the way in for a 
Ravens touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson as his guys are able to extend their lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. But well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they took their offensive guy. Can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Now Rodgers. Tunyon's getting it. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun now for Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, had a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play. They put points on the board for their team. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for pick six, and then the two-point conversion. Good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense, everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. Nixon now from his end zone. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. I remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of it. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the score. How many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They played that gallery, not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them, and they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception instead of... And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football that his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talents. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense, but maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit. 
Nixon now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. So after the incompletion, second and 10 for the 22. Now it's Rodgers. Pass to Lazard, bring it in on the crossing route. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now Rodgers. He'll find Aguara complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. To throw, it's Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. They drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. But well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Rodgers again now. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Rodgers going to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. A misconnection there. He's hitting just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because he threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Rodgers hitting Allen Lazard. And the Packers are able to cut into that deficit. I know what the scoreboard says here. But for all those who are playing fantasy football, their scoreboards are different. Point scored could benefit someone. Rodgers will throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 30, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Well, that was almost a four-point swing. The interception, if he had returned it all the way, would have been two for them, but just a little bit shy. And when it's a play like that, you're exactly right with the math. But don't you feel like it would have counted for more and it found their way all the way back to the end zone and gotten the two? That changes the whole momentum, doesn't it? Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. And in for the Ravens touchdown. James Prochet with his second touchdown here in this first half.
And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league. They decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. And make them four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. Justin Tucker in the kickoff for four. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him making out of the back there. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. He's at the 30. 10, 5, touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. They're going to run for with Jones. But he is not going to make it into the end zone. They stop him short. So they'll add only six as we come up on halftime. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and they won't come back and hurt them later. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. He's gonna wind up and air it out. And this is caught, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way, that's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? And now this will be the final play of the half, as with no time remaining, they'll try and add two more to the lead right before intermission. Jackson's going to keep him, but he will not get the two points. He stopped up short, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. 
Crosby on now to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Throwing on second and 14. Jackson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. From just shy of midfield, Jackson Dobbins on the slant route. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 42. From the gun, it's Jackson being chased out left. And Jackson so tough to stop. He's got a first down and he gives himself up there at the end. Jackson on first down. That one complete to Prochet. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now it's Jackson. Caught on the slant. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Jackson here is going to look to throw. He's got it at the two. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Shoves him aside. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And this is caught. Touchdown. Alan Lazard. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are able to claw one back. 
Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. Matt LaFleur, he tells the offense, stay out there, go for two. They'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Play action. It's Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jackson. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, to be bad, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there still in the third quarter. It's, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a stop. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens will take over possession here up at the 44. I think it's safe to say this is a game he's not going to forget anytime soon, Charles. Three interceptions. It's rare that we see three interceptions by one team, let alone by an individual. And I think that after the second one, he's probably telling his teammates, any ball that's in the air, it's going to be mine. And that turned out to be true. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So, first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. They go play action with Jackson. just get rid of it not his best throw there but where we sit right now in the third quarter he's had a pretty good game throwing the football he certainly has and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four minute offense yet but they've got to think about i'm not gonna say milking the clock but understanding clock management here on out now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Fourth down, here's Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Ravens on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and nine. 
he comes back with one complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. He's at the 50, 30, 10, and into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Parker touchdown. Well, part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now Thank you've you put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw is Jackson. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. A well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the 32. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he's got it inside the 10. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 67 yards. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Jones. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Jones again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair.
This likely a must-have third and goal. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. This is caught. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone. And the Ravens come up big down at their own goal line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. This is taken around the 12. such a big lead late the effort hasn't lapsed one bit if the offense wants to score some points in this one they're gonna have to earn it these guys are not giving up anything to throw once more on second and ten Rodgers and his throw here is incomplete that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration the body language is evident everywhere this team they've really been put through the ringer in this one throwing his Rodgers on third down this complaint to Jones. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rodgers now on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Rodgers to throw once more. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with the ground. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Meanwhile, this one knocked down to the backfield. It's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here they come, second and ten now from the ten. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance 
the Panthers' stats a bit, but as far as the actual need, there he goes right side. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense